Hello guys, Mastag here, and welcome to a new episode of Search for the Merch, the franchise where I review merchandise from 1 to 10. In this video, we're going to be discussing the Wrestler Kirby Plus that I recently got to promote Kirby Fighters 2. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Okay, let's begin with the history of this plus. This plus's history has to begin with the game the copy ability based on the plus it originally came from, being Kirby Fighters 2, which is a sequel to a sub-game expansion game on the 3DS called Kirby Fighters Deluxe. It was a fine game, but most people didn't really expect it was going to get a sequel, especially multiple years later, but it did. And when the sequel's release, a ton of merchandise in Japan followed. Probably the most popular being this plus of Wrestler Kirby alongside his costume of Sumo Kirby, both being made by SK Japan, which is a well known company for making many great Kirby plusies in the past. But is this plus also good as all the other plusies? Well, let's find out. Okay, let's begin with the plus. In the start of this plus, we should first talk about the main thing that makes this plus so unique, being its main max. And I gotta say, this max really looks really, really good. You didn't see pout on almost every single detail on this max. It looks almost one in one accurate from the max in the game, but in plus form. Alongside the max, you also have the back spikes, which also look pretty detailed as well. And in the back, we also have some stitches, which are pretty nice detail they could have left out, but they didn't, which really shows how much they care about this plus. Next up on the list, we have this Kirby's expression. The most expression, he has a smiling face, but still looks somewhat angry. I really like this. Most Kirby Plutzies usually have either a happy smile or being angry. But the fact that you did a mix of the both is a really unique thing I didn't really see that much. So I really like it. Alongside that, the Plus also has very soft skin, which is pretty respectable for SK Japan Kirby Plusies, but still. This plus is really soft, and it always surprises me that out of all of the companies out there, SK Japan always makes some of the most softest plusies I have ever felt in my life. But besides the softness, they easily get all of Kirby's details besides the max down to a T, which is pretty basic for SK Japan standards overall. For the last things we have to talk about the plus, we also have is the tag. Sally, when I got my Kirby Fighters plus, it didn't came with a tag. But luckily, after some searching, I did eventually sell one Kirby Plus on eBay, which did have the tag. Now for the tag, it's pretty simple, sewing the Kirby Fighters logo in Japanese with the base art. Pretty basic, but again, the Kirby Fighters 2 box art is still pretty appealing, so it's not that big of a problem. So with all of that all combined, what are my final thoughts on this Plus? Well, if you can already tell, I really like this Kirby Fighters Plus. It overall is a really high quality plus of Wrestler Kirby, and as we speak, probably one of the best Kirby pluses of Wrestler Kirby out there. Mostly for the fact that it's the only one, but still, even not kind of combined, it still is a really good plus overall. But even if this plus is really good, and many of you want it, how rare is this plus? This is where the rarity and value segment comes in. And for the rarity of this plus, it isn't really that rare. As we speak, it is still available on most websites, so you can still easily see the plus most of the time. But for the overall value, the plus can go for around 30 to $50. A lot of money for sure, but if I recommend you to find this plus, I recommend it for you to wait until you find a good price, either for $30 or $40. Besides that, it still is a pretty easy plus to find, at least for now. <laughs> 